Hi everybody, it's uh, Eugene Misho here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the high detail scanning in the latest firmware update for the Faro S350 scanner. Actually, it works for all the S-series scanners that I'm aware of, so here's basically how it works. I've already got a project set up, and I'm going to go into my parameters. I'm using uh, a very low resolution setup, and uh, one eighth, two times quality pretty quick, just for the demonstration. I'm not using any color, and I'm actually scanning indoors because it's raining today, so I don't feel like going outside, but you'll get the idea either way. It's, it's pretty simple to do. So on that, uh, what I'm going to do is commence my first scan, and that should only take a second, and then uh, once that's done, I'll just pop back here and uh, show you how to do the high detail scanning. Okay, so it's almost done here. I'm just waiting for the uh, preview to pop up. Now I'm using two small 80 millimeter spheres. Those are the uh, bullet trajectory spheres that are sold by Copper Targets. And I have two small checkered targets uh, that are on an uh, engraved acrylic material. Okay, so going into the preview here, it, uh, and there's you'll see that there's actually something here that says scan group. And so what you do is, uh, this will be on screen, on the right on the scanner, or I'm doing this on my laptop here remotely but I'm going to click on scan group and then give it a second to load here so once it's loaded basically what you end up with is a preview so this is just um, here in my office what I'm going to do is show you where I've got these spheres now there's one little guy over here it's kind of difficult to see and this actually brings up an important point maybe a suggestion for Faro too and that is that if you are using low resolution scans it's going to be difficult to see the uh, targets, especially if they're small or if they're very, very far away. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just I'm going to click in the area where the target is placed. So just click like that, and you'll see that I've got this square that comes up that sort of is a default size. Now, if I click it again, I get some options here. I'm going to scan it half res uh, four times. Um, you could go lower if you wanted to, and you can also adjust these scan areas. So this just goes down. And I'm going to go very small just to get that particular sphere. So I have a two degree by two degree section, and that's going to work out perfect for me. There's another one here. I'm going to click on that. Now what's nice is that it keeps your last setting, so you can quickly go and uh, mark the same target. Now here I've got a checkerboard, so let me try this one. Probably going to have to go a little bit bigger. Well, that's getting close, but I think I'm going to expand that just to make sure I have the whole thing. And I've got another one over behind me here that's over there. There we go. So I'm just going to click on that, and I'm going to expand that as well. It's a little bit closer. So now that I have all the targets marked, uh, what I can do is go Add Scans to Group. So this other window pops up, and basically uh, you'll get the high detail scans, and it'll go through and only scan what you have highlighted. Now you will not get color if your first scan had color on it won't go back and do those small sections in color they're really intended for registration and just highlighting those targets at high resolution so i'm going to let this go and then i'll uh, let it come back and we'll uh, move the scanner and go to the next one and then i'll show you how you process this in ferrocene okay so we're getting near the end here uh, just on the last scan so it's almost done and okay so it says scan successfully completed so you'll see here now i've got these areas which are highlighted okay little boxes around them and so those are my targets so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to move the scanner and do a second scan do the same thing mark the targets and then we will register the two together okay so i've moved the scanner i'm just going to go back home i'm going to do a second scan just a, a regular 1 8 scan and once that's completed we're going to highlight the targets once more Okay, so that scan is completed, and this is the preview here. And I go back down to this scan group, and I'm going to do the uh, same thing that I did before. I've got the preview up. I'm going to look for those uh, spheres that I want to, uh, or the targets that I want to use. So I'm going to start with this checkered target here. Okay, that's kind of a larger box, so I'm going to just, just put it down. And I'm going to go to a quarter res. I'm not going to bother with anything higher than that. Um, let's see. Then there's another target uh, right over sorry it's on the other side here i'm going to click on that one that's a good size for me and there's the little spheres that one's good and i'm going to do this one here and that one's good too so i'm just going to go ahead and click add scans to group and it's going to go ahead and scan those for me and include them in so i will pause the video here and get back to you when it's done
Okay, so I'm now in Pharaoh's scene, and what I've done is created a new project, and I've dragged and dropped three scans in, uh, which were actually these scan groups. So I have the one, um, one, two, three scans, but you can see that they're numbered differently because the groups get their own labels as well. So really I have one, two, three as clusters, and all the uh, main scans and their groups, or their sub-scans sub are in there as well. So what I'm going to do is just process this normally. Um, so I'm just going to make some changes here to my settings. So in the processing tab, make sure that I got the proper uh, sphere size, which I'm going to switch back to um, meters and millimeters. And I'll go back. Those are uh, 80 millimeter spheres. So I'll add those. And I'm going to go back now and process. And here we're going to go into do all the scans. Um, we will do all of this, no color because we didn't have any, no filters. We are going to find checkerboards and spheres at 40, and then we're going to do a targeted registration. So I'll let that process and then come back and show you what we got. Okay, so we're back and the registration was successful. I've got all my targets in here and everything has come together. If you take a look here uh, at some of the uh, group scans or the sub scans, you'll see that I've got high resolution on these and let's see if we can look at one of the spheres so there you go there's a sphere just the sphere at higher resolution that gets captured so that's the basic premise um, you'll see that scene automatically detects the, the groups and organizes them accordingly here into uh, little clusters but again just a couple of things uh, I'll, I'll open up another project in a second just to show you one of the difficulties is going to be that when you have scans or targets excuse me that are far away or scans which are lower resolution identifying the targets in the preview window uh, might be a little tricky so sometimes you have to bump up the resolution just to be able to um, visualize it on the screen if you're using a tablet or something larger it's much easier to see so uh, keep that in mind uh, when you're working outdoors okay and finally just to show that this works outdoors this is a project that uh, was done in a parking lot you see i only have two scans each of these scans, there's one over here and one over here, were done at 1 8th resolution. And there were targets that were laid out very, very far away. Uh, you can see there's one here. There should be one down here. And there is one over in another section, actually right over here. So three targets outdoors. And when you look at this from above, you'll see that the overlap between these two is very, very little. So the points on the ground are actually uh, breaking apart. So this is very useful when you want to cover a very large area using targets that are spread out and um, especially in areas where, for example, you don't have vertical structure like these buildings and such where you can use for cloud to cloud. So very uh, flat open areas, this high detail scanning is going to be very, very helpful. Thanks.